X-linked traits are located on the X chromosome and include things like hemophilia and colorblindness. Otherwise they work similarly to autosomal traits, meaning that for a recessive trait to be expressed, both alleles have to be recessive. However, as boys only have one X chromosome, they will only have one allele which determines if the trait is expressed or not. There are three rules of X-linked recessive inheritance. Number one, affected mothers must have affected sons. Number two, just as with any recessive trait, if both parents are affected, all of the children are affected as well. And number three, unaffected fathers will always have unaffected daughters. Let's use what we have learned so far to analyze a pedigree and determine if a given trait is X-linked recessive or not. The parents of generation 1 include an affected mother, meaning that she is homozygous recessive, and the father which is not affected, meaning that his one allele for the trait will be dominant. This means that all their sons will get their one X chromosome from the mother, which is recessive, meaning that they will also be affected. All daughters will get one allele from each parent and will therefore be unaffected carriers. Now if we look at the subfamily furthest to the left, we notice that in addition to the father being affected, the mother is affected as well. This means that all of their children will be affected. Now for the subfamily in the middle. In this case the mother is not affected and initially we do not know if she is homozygous dominant or heterozygous. However, if we set up a punit square we quickly notice that if the mother were to be homozygous dominant none of the children would be affected. On the other hand, if the mother is heterozygous dominant it is possible for her to have affected girls as well. Finally, in the subfamily furthest to the right, we already know that the mother is a carrier and that the father's one X located allele must be dominant since he does not express the trait either. When we set up a punit square for this situation, we can observe that their children have a 50-50 chance of getting the recessive trait if they are born as boys, but will never gain the recessive trait if they're born as girls. Now we have shown that the entire pedigree tracks an X-linked recessive trait as we were able to work out congruent genotypes of everyone in the pedigree when we assumed that this was in fact tracking an X-linked trait. If you want more examples of different types of pedigrees and how to read them, click this video.